They're 60 yards from us now. This bull's 60 yards over there. Are you want to take this bull? No, we're not. These bulls here, Uncle Dennis, are not quite what we're after. Okay. I can see this one on the right's got a thin neck. This one on the left here facing away from us. Body doesn't look that big to me, although I haven't seen him from the front. But it's definitely not going to be a shooter if I look judging by his body size and that. This is a nice distance with 45 yards. It's a lovely looking bull, but given what we've seen this morning, we've seen some better than this. Yeah. And it is our first morning out, we've seen a lot. I don't mind, I don't mind, I'm shooting the day. Yeah. Well, Uncle Dennis, it was three years ago you were last year. Mm -hmm. You're back on your third trip now, and every year it's getting to a different adventure, a different species, and this year we are off to Cape Buffalo. So what a glorious first morning out. We've come out here, we've seen multiple bulls already, and just a lovely opportunity this morning with perfect wind to actually get in close on a group feeding. We got well within shooting range. We're 45 yards here at the end, and you know just to feel what it's going to feel yeah, like and get that feeling for cape buffalo hunting we found them this is an ideal situation the scattered brush it just gives you enough cover to work with and get in close and we got in really nice and close and looked over some bulls and uh, yeah we're going to continue the quest for cape buffalo and yeah it's such a honor and a privilege to have you back so oh, and, I, I, i'm you know, extremely excited about this and I'm just it's been great it's been great it's great so far i'm looking forward to the rest of the week but uh and getting on the sticks on these bulls, it gave me kind of a feeling and what a rush. Yeah. What a rush. And the wonderful thing is that uh, Uncle Dennis was one of the very first people that went in the midst of the drought in 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. when we came up with this idea of establishing a whole heap of new water holes across the woodlands. Uncle Dennis said, I'll sponsor a water hole. At that stage, there was no talk of a bonus prize or anything no. or a draw and then you know a call to show good world back and um, John X decided to throw a cape buffalo into a draw for all the guys that um, sponsored a water hole and I can't think of a nicer gentleman to oh, actually okay. won the I've prize. I've never so. won anything in my life. I could was when you called me that Thanksgiving and all my family was there and I can I can tell you my wife wasn't really excited but <laughs> I was I just amazing I yeah. just looking so forward to it so. so Uncle Dennis was the winner of the Cape Buffalo draw for the water hole and um, the whole water hole project we did and yeah we called him on Thanksgiving a couple of years ago and said right Uncle Dennis you've won you know <laughs> he couldn't believe it he thought we were having him on so it's yeah. really a, a privilege to have you out here and to experience the buffalo hunting here in the Eastern yeah. Cape and we're going to have a fantastic week together and yeah, it's going to be fun hunting like this, getting in close and eventually we're going to choose the right bull. It's a really nice old, yeah. old animal that needs to be taken out. We're going to choose the right bull and we're going to get in close and make a good shot. Um, I look forward to it. Hopefully a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
just earlier I was saying that our buffalo hunting's done for the day because the wind has started pumping and that they're most likely all going to be heading down the thickets and really sticking in the tight stuff. But then we come up here onto the plains and <laughs> these few are doing completely the opposite. They've chosen to lay down bed up for the midday period in the middle of the open. And uh, what's quite interesting though is um, even if we saw something we like here, it'd be impossible to close the distance. And we've just cr uh, crested the hill here and they're still probably 200 yards from us and we're not a tree in sight to try and get closer. There he is. See that bull in the middle, Dennis? Uh-huh. That is clearly a soft boss bull. It's quite difficult to see the shadow now, but he hasn't got any of that secondary growth. One on the left's got quite a big body on him. Oh, looks like he could be hard. Yeah, that bull on the left is a hard bull. The bull on the far right is very young. Oh, yeah. You see a tiny little body. Yeah. When he turns and looks at us, you'll see he's got a very open gap between his bosses and a lot of hair. Yeah, I see it. You see there, all that hair. Yeah. It kind of gave the hair becomes smoother skin, which then becomes horn matter. Okay, so the two bulls standing side by side on the left. The left one's hard, the right one's soft. Yes, right? correct. That right hand bull is actually hard as well. Although he's not a overly impressive bull, he is actually hard. And he looks at us, look at the bosses and look at how it's hard all the way down to the ridge. Well, Dennis, we've obviously canned buffalo hunting for the day, but if you look down there, there are sable in the distance there amongst all that game. Yeah. And yesterday we did see a really nice bull that caught our eye, but we thought we'd look around a bit. So we are uh, in the teeth of the wind here, but the animals are out feeding on these plains, so we just got to brave the wind and check it out. Bull that's third from the left is probably a fully mature old bull, given that he's jet black and his whole um, body size is slightly bigger. And I bet if he picked his head up, he'd have more mass on the horn as well. Hello, well, Dennis. We haven't found what we're after. Old bull, this, but a broken horn tip. We know what quality is around here, so a bull we had seen yesterday is MIA on us temporarily, but we'll keep the search. We've got time, yeah. got a few days, we'll find a nice big one. Yeah. It's still nice to see them out in the plains. And pleasant evening here, you know, the wind actually laid down a little bit after yeah. being very violent around too, the day. Too bad that's not the one. This would be kind of good where we could get up on the edge of the trees. Yeah, and he's looking into the sun. Yeah. He's at 300 yards now. Of course, that's the way it works out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's carry on. Well, Dennis, we found what we were after in terms of finding an old bull all by himself. We said that would be the ideal situation. Wind is pumping today, which is not a bad thing. It'll really help mask our uh, sound and everything to get in close. So he's in a really stalkable place now. So I'm going to head back down, put our faces into the wind and cut up like that and try and intercept him in that scattered brush there. But this is a, a nice situation we've got here. So let's just go give it a bash and see what we can pull out here. We'll give it a try. He's behind these trees, but he's gonna come out here beautifully at 40 yards. Just relax and wait. Put on the front point of that shoulder, just a third of the way up. 
Okay, get ready. Wait for it. Okay, on my shoulder. Let's take it. Perfect. Perfect. Good, good, good. Good, good, good job, Dennis. Dennis, let's just give it a couple minutes. Come this way, Dennis. Don't shoot again. Don't shoot again, Dennis. I'm just going to watch him there, Dennis. He's rolling over. He's rolling over. Hold yours. Damn. He's hold yours. <laughs> Let me take the rifle from you, sir. Listen to the best bellow. Man. That was a, that was amazing. That's a rock, huh? That is ex <sighs> like we said. You you told Yaku and I shoot when I'm shot, but no, Yaku said you're gonna shoot every time. <laughs> At one stage, it looked like he wanted to come, yeah, but he uh, to, you yeah, he, he was looking. You I hit would... him every time. <sighs> He's you done. You haven't missed one shot, Dennis. You hit right. him every time. Every single time you beat him. <laughs> Man, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. That's why Thank you use a little gun. Thank you. Shoot him more than once. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. Wow. I can't stop shaking. You don't. You think that you may think you know what that's like. Yeah. Until you are that close to that. And then you turn and see him. He's coming. That's amazing. He's coming. He's going. He's coming. <laughs> Wow. Uh, well, Uncle Dennis, it's quite surreal to be sitting in the morning sun, the smell of Cape Buffalo I'm, around us. I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> and a, it's amazing. An Just, atmosphere of adrenaline and excitement. Oh. Um, it could not have been more perfect, quite frankly. No. To step out how it did, to intercept in the exact point, I didn't even range it. I knew it was under 40 yards for sure, probably under 30 even. And he came out there. He had no clue we were not, there. Not until we, sh not until I shot him. He did. You did. Not until I shot him. That first shot was was probably more than good enough. But uh, we thought, let All Uncle right. Dennis have <laughs> at it, and that he did. He put four shots in it. A lot of excitement when it saw us. It looked like it was coming our way. And uh, put another one in him, and he turned, and he was done. Didn't yeah. He? From where we, the very first shot, he's gone 50 yards max. So. Really, um, what a what a moment to be sitting here. I mean, you and I have done multiple safaris together, been friends for many years, and what oh, yeah. a privilege to have you back here, sir, and be in this it's, position we're in right now. It's more than a privilege, all of y'all and, and, and Yako helping us, and it was great. It, I just I could not I couldn't ask for a better morning in Africa than this right here, and the way this worked out, the way that where this uh, big bull was at, and I was. Con Concerned because we passed up four and there was a huge one in there that I yeah. really liked. You said, well, let's go find one by itself. And I'm going, well, crap, you know. <laughs> but y'all y'all know what you're doing and you called it right. And I love the, the character on it. He's old, he's uh, yeah. scarred up. Uh, it's great. Well, great. well, congratulations, sir. Really, everything really I, proud of this. It's been such a pleasure. Looking, everything I was looking for. Everything. Thanks a lot. Absolute I'm pleasure, good. sir. Really a true pleasure.
Isn't that sky beautiful? Look at those blue oh, mountains in the background. You see the depth of the clouds and the depth of the mountain range and the animals in the foreground. The beast in the forest. Beautiful. So we've got a beautiful, dramatic sky and calmer conditions today. Yeah. Out really on the plains nice. here, a lot of game moving around. We're going to look for a sable primarily. We're going to look around there. Oh, quite a few here. So we did pass up some bulls um, a couple of days ago. We saw a bull that had just they had that broken tip, right. an old bull, nice old bull that we, we're going to keep looking. Um, but yeah, what a beautiful morning out. Uh, stark contrast to the violent winds we had the last couple of days. The whole plane seemed to be calm. Everything has got a more relaxed feel about yeah. it today. So yeah, we're going to keep moving across these plains and keep looking. Just beautiful. Uh, you see that group of like four on the left? Yes. Those are all younger bulls. Each one of those bulls' bases are soft. They don't have, um, you know, really any secondary growth and but looking up higher at the top there's definitely mature bulls there and coming to the right there's only one bull two bulls actually that I haven't had a good look at they're both facing away so I'm just waiting for them to turn but they definitely are oh, shooters in there. He's facing right now yeah. his head down feeding just pick his head up yeah yeah you put it on his shoulder Perfect. Look at that. He sucked up that 28 bullet. I saw the vapor trail, Dennis. It Can went. Another one in or not? Let's just give it two seconds. Just watch what he does. Okay, Dennis, let's put one more in him. Just aim in the crease. He's got a slight quarter. You're going to put it in the crease midway up. <laughs> Done. Saw the vapor trail go in the crease, Uncle Dennis. They are very tough, big-bodied animals, but you got him, sir. I mean, that's he sucked up two 28 nozzle rounds. He's going down. But they are very tough animals. He's going down, sir. He's gone. He's done. Down. Got a little bit raffle. <laughs> it's amazing. Holy shit! I love it raffle. This morning we were chatting, and we said that today is like a world-class. Um, Long range, Long range yeah. morning. It you is. Know. It's just, I mean, it's it's just died perfect. down. The atmosphere is calm. The temperature is stable. And we laid there and we just crushed it at 550. <laughs> so. Well, thank you. Good call. Good. I mean, yeah. the, the range is, I would say good wind call, but there's no wind. So I'm going to give you You know, dare to <laughs> make my best wind calls when there's no wind. <laughs> I make, I make my best shots at 500 and 550, so that's good with no wind. But, but that, that 28. It's amazing how that sable sucked up that bullet, I, I, eh? I would have, honest, because I, I, the thing I like about that with the, with the suppressor on is I can stay in the scope. So yeah. I saw it here. Yeah. And I thought, okay. Yeah. And he just turned around, and I'm like, yeah. holy crap, man, it's a 28. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sable is a very tough animal. I yeah. tell you what, that second shot, I watched the vapor trail and perfectly see so hit him from both sides. And yeah, he, I want to make down. sure and put him down good. But yeah, yeah, beautiful I, animal. I don't so mind that, shooting him twice, but I yeah. was just surprised that he did not go down. <laughs> but I, you tell us, I mean, he didn't run or anything. You tell he just, yeah, he's kind of sucked it up. Mm. So there's no sense in letting him just stand there. And yeah, 100%. Well, Uncle Dennis, look at that shining jet black coat, sir. Yeah. Check it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at him there, see? Magnificent. Great, great, great. Lovely, just perfectly symmetrical. Sweeps back beautifully. Got that classic sable shape. His beautiful jet black body. Oh. Thick neck and that deep chest on him, sir. I mean, this is just a textbook sable and a, a beautiful animal, sir. So, Thank you. Yeah, we looked over many this morning and cruise yeah. around and, and passed up many and yeah this is just a wonderful sable bull sir, and this everything we were looking for and like I said to you when you see him standing in the sun that big deep chest that thick neck definitely just stand out really you impressive beautiful out. animal to look at so you don't see the brown up here though yeah so much when you're actually looking at distance yeah and yeah this jet black coloration yeah the thick neck and this beautiful thick mane on the back yeah it's just a fantastic animal sir so Really, um, one of the, the best antelope, in my opinion, yes. that there is out there. One of the prettiest, one of the most special. So I, I've wanted one for a long time. Well, congratulations. Thank it's you. a wonderful, wonderful well, animal. Thanks you. Thank you for the opportunity. An I absolute pleasure, it. Dennis.
you see. This morning, a Dennis, we did see that old grown bull over here. He was with a slightly younger bull. And there is a lot of dead ground in front of us. Let's just walk slowly. The wind is in our face. So we're just okay. going to walk slowly forward. Um, but they shouldn't have gone far. We saw them across there this morning. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that they're in this kind of dead ground in front here. Let's go try to find them. They're obviously looking straight into the sun and the wind's in our favor. So as we crest here, you can just see them there. That bull on the right from the front, he looks much longer, but he doesn't hook that far back. He comes tall off the head. Uh -huh. the one on the left is definitely the older bull, I think, and he hooks, he doesn't go as tall off the head, but sweeps quite far back. So they're actually okay. very similar in size, but the one at the left, I think, is definitely the better all round animal. So okay. darker color, and also a bit of an older animal for sure. Okay, we want to try to get you. Let's keep coming to our right, yeah. Because obviously we're just cresting this hill and get the sun perfectly behind our back and also help blind It's a tree to Give them a chance to relax. Okay. They, they saw some movement but they, like I said they're looking straight into the sun. Look at our shadows. Our shadows are pointing straight at them. So they're staring into that setting sun now and the wind's in our face so everything's against them and for us. So they saw okay. some movement here but they're just looking this way squinting. You see them. Definitely, they definitely can't see us here. Yeah, I mean, only our top of our heads are sticking out over this bush. And they, like I said, are staring into this harsh setting sun. See that crease there, Dennis? Yeah. It's in the middle of the crease. There's some time. brush in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of brush, we don't worry about it in that crease. There we go. So, <laughs> he was coming across, and the whole time he did not look once. Not this one way. time did he, he turn to the right. Looking down, looking down. And he, <laughs> that one's staring at us, and this one here will not look at us. No. And then, like I said, if you look at our shadows in front of us, Dennis, the know. shadow is pointing he, he pointed at them. At, so. I mean, you know, he would have silhouetted. He'd have been gone. <laughs> but you look back into the sun now, it's pretty hard to see yeah. someone approaching over the ridge. So that good old hunting tactic worked a charm for us. So. That just charmed. Thank you. <laughs> you must I couldn't welcome, believe so. that. I can't believe we got away with that. <laughs> Man. Wow. Uh, let's go check it out. Wow. Got my own. Beautiful roads. Eh? Beautiful. Check it out. Uh, very similar to your the sable and the horn shape. Also got these like long tufted looking ear. And we saw this bull with another bull and decided, you know, he had a much darker looking coloration yeah. on him than compared to the other bull. And had yeah. some ribs showing, he was definitely. It worked out really well, sis. Uh, yeah, congratulations beautiful, beautiful. on the beautiful animals. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was that was great. I can't believe we got away with it. That that was great. <laughs> That's interesting. Check how unbelievably long these yeah. ears are. I mean, the ears alone are over 12 inches long. It's quite amazing. You know, wow. When, when you see a roan out of distance, you, you kind of you don't realize how big the proportions on this animal are. I mean, it stands really tall on the hoof and. You know, to the fact that it's got a 12 inch long plus ear, it's amazing. And, you know, look at the skull size on this. Uh, I, I know just it's a not, neat animal. I know it's not black like the, the sable, but it sure is pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really, look, really look pretty. Look at this main color glistening in, oh, the, yeah. in the sunset. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful animal, sir. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're thank most you very welcome. Much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's my absolute pleasure, sir. We started Project 25 um, as a desire to improve our water, to, to um, really take woodlands to the next level on what we're trying to do here with our conservation model, our plan. And 
Craig, what a privilege it is to have you here tonight. You, you, you play at 21, like we call here. You, you're one of the most important players because you came after the fact. And even then you came to me and said to me, I want to be a part of it. And, and, and you came and added that to that. So thank you very much. But Uncle Dennis picked up the phone and called Stix or myself. I can't remember, but I think he might have told us both. This thing just started like that and Uncle Dennis said, I'm in. And not in our wildest dreams did Stix or myself ever, ever think that Uncle Dennis would be the one to win Project 25. I still think his wife thinks it was rigged. <laughs> I'm telling you now how we would get him back to Africa, but we had an app, we went through the whole process, we were learning as we went. I was a nervous wreck through the whole process, but needless to say, when we came to the end of Project 25 and all these wonderful water holes, Uncle Dennis was the winner. And Uncle Dennis has become a part of our family here. He's been on so many trips with us and he, it's a home for us in Houston. We feel privileged to be a part of it, Uncle Dennis. But Thank for you. you to have come here and hunted the Cape Buffalo, it, it's so special for us. It could have been any one of those people who were involved and we thank everybody, but how lucky we were that you were the one who um, came back and, and joined us for this experience. And you had a wonderful buffalo, Uncle yes. Sticks, and I've relived it and listened about it at the pub and with you on the veranda. <laughs> but this evening, the all-important Dugger Boy Club, it has to happen, so Sticks, Without any further ado, I'll hand over to you. You were there at 26 yards. Have at it. Uncle Dennis, as having hunted your first Cape Buffalo with us here, you are part of a very special group of guys that have hunted their first Buffalo. We call the John X Dugger Boy Club. And Ozzy, who's a very good part of your and my team, he is the man behind the creation of these um, replica Buffalo skulls. And that is a little memento for you to have on your desk, in your home there in Texas. And you can remember everything about that hunt we did. And welcome to the club, sir. Oh, and thank what a you. fantastic I, week we had together. I never would have dreamed I, I don't ever win anything. <laughs> but uh, It was it's genuinely an absolute great. pleasure to have it's you here this great. week, sir. Honestly. It's been great. Thank you all very much. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Cheers, thank you.